San Franciscans register to vote, find out about the candidates in an upcoming election, or learn what the current propositions are about so they can exercise their right to vote. Based on the goals of the Voting Rights Act of 1965 to make voting accessible to all citizens, the San Francisco Department of Elections operates the Voter Information Division to register voters, educate them about the ballot, and advertise the election. Voter information includes an array of publication and outreach tools to contact people in person, in print, online, and through traditional and social media. We're trying to get San Franciscans to know about the election, what's on the ballot, uh, you know, how to find out about registration, about their polling places, voting by mail, and also just about the operation of the department. Let's start with a publication all voters are familiar with, The Ballot. What's on the ballot and how it is presented is governed a great deal by state and local law. There's a lot that goes into ballot production. It's very complicated and there are many different versions of the ballot. For example, since only half of the supervisors are elected during any election, the district a voter lives in determines whether his or her ballot has a supervisor contest. Other contests work the same way. Of course, we have to make sure that the ballot follows state and local law. There's the state and county random alphabet. Based on a random state and local alphabet drawings, candidates' names are listed in different order on different ballots, so no candidate has the top of ballot advantage. Also, to ensure language access, we make three versions of each ballot, one in English and Chinese, one in English and Spanish, and one in English and Filipino. This means we have to design, proof, and print many different versions of the ballot. We also do all of this under very tight deadlines. For example, we won't receive the state certified list of candidates until 68 days before an election. We work with our vendor, creating the layouts and making sure the vendor software can read the ballot. Our goal is to make sure that our ballots follow all election laws and also are easy to read and easy to use. And of course, there's the voter information pamphlet, which is mailed to every registered San Francisco voter. The pamphlet is also provided in Chinese, Spanish, and Filipino upon request. The voter information pamphlet features a sample ballot, proposition digests created by the Ballot Simplification Committee, pro and con arguments for each proposition, and the complete text of each proposition. Almost all of the content in the voter information pamphlet is required by either state or local law. The other content is to provide more general information about when, where, and how to vote, and also the services that we offer to voters. It's interesting to note that San Francisco is one of the few cities to allow paid arguments in the voter information pamphlet. By city municipal code, we're also required to request and print the source of funds for all paid arguments. In these days of easier and faster technologies, if you prefer your voting information in digital format, or just want to save a tree, you can skip the paper pamphlet and access the online version of the voter information pamphlet at sfelections.org. <music> to encourage voting and a better informed voter, the Department of Elections produces print materials and videos in English, Chinese, Spanish, and Filipino. Materials produced by the Department of Elections include flyers with key dates and an overview of the upcoming election an election poster, and informational cards on multilingual services, ranked choice voting, assistance for voters with disabilities, and voting rights after a felony conviction. You can find these materials at the Department of Elections at City Hall and on display at many San Francisco city offices, community centers, public libraries, and schools. <music> SFElections.org is a robust online portal that includes answers to frequently asked questions, tools for verifying your registration, making ballot language preference, finding your polling place, and tracking your vote by mail ballot. All of the online tools are available in English, Chinese, Spanish, and Filipino. You can also find results on election night and results of past elections, such as voter turnout demographics as far back as the 1960s. And as election laws change from year to year, sfelections.org is an important resource for the most up-to-date information. Our goal with, with the website is actually, in every instance that we put content on the website, is to make the elections process as transparent as possible. 
And one way to make the elections process transparent is by providing information. Our website is a great resource and really a one-stop shop for all of your election needs. Voters can go online and use the tools to check their registration. They can get all the information they need to make an informed ballot decision. And candidates running for office can check their filing dates and all the other important dates and deadlines that they need to adhere to. SFElections.org is also a resource for recruiting and training poll workers and polling place owners. Our website is also optimized for mobile devices so you can take it and access it on the go. Voters who want to see democracy in action can watch live video feeds at sfelections.org. Before the election, live streams show candidate workshops, the random letter drawing for propositions, testing of voting machines and tabulation equipment, and preparation of vote-by-mail envelopes for counting. You can watch ballots being processed at City Hall and the Election Department warehouse, witness the post-election manual tally, and see the final election results announcement all live in real time. We want to show people as much as we can about our operations without them having to come down to the department because uh, one of the primary missions we have in the department is to ensure that people have confidence in the elections process. And the way to do that is to, to be transparent, but you know, transparency is it's a, it's a word. But the main thing, if, if people can watch us doing our work, then they'll have confidence that we're actually doing what they expect us to do. And then the overall process uh, is running the way that it should. The department provides voter information and registers voters at their city hall office and at civic events year-round. The outreach team offers these services for new citizens at U.S. citizenship ceremonies and at community events, including Project Homeless Connect, Sunday Streets, and neighborhood fairs. If you have any questions, the telephone number and the website are on the flyer, or you could ask me now. Actually, can I uh, switch to vote by mail? Yes, you can. All you have to do is initial right here. We meet voters in every corner of San Francisco and get people excited about participating in the next election. We register voters, hand out voter education materials, answer questions, help people understand what's on the ballot, and recruit poll workers. The local measures, there are 12. Um, and then I will pass this out to you. This has all the information. The Department of Elections also takes the show on the road throughout the city, providing a variety of nonpartisan educational presentations at community centers, forums, and residential facilities. If you were to look at page 215 of your voter information pamphlet, it talks about the exceptions and... Live and video presentations cover who can vote, what is on the ballot, and when, where, and how San Franciscans can cast their vote. So in this presentation, I will talk about voter registration. Um, I will talk about what's on the ballot, and I would be going through uh, some of the propositions on the ballot, and I will be talking about the different ways to vote. 咁今次呢,十一月份呢,係一個都係選一個大選啦。These multilingual presenters will also register voters, collect requests for vote by mail ballots, recruit poll workers, and answer voter questions. The department also trains individuals and groups on how to conduct a voter registration drive. These presentations are free of charge and provided in English, Cantonese, Mandarin, Spanish, and Filipino. Established in 2008, the Voter Information Network has grown to nearly 400 organizations representing the city's diverse communities. So we'll probably put that in the email as well to direct them to a place where they can register fully online. Prior to every election, the department holds meetings with community leaders to get their ideas on community outreach goals and election strategies. We also send posters and flyers to these community groups and inform them of the availability of staff speakers to present at their events. And I didn't get to change my voting address. In the days leading up to election day and on the day itself, 
Voter information staff are stationed in front of the Grove and Goodlett entrances to City Hall, accepting vote by mail ballots and answering voters' questions. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Vote signed, sealed, and delivered. For voters who prefer to call for information, the department offers a phone service year-round with trained department staff who answer questions in English, Cantonese, Mandarin, Spanish, and Filipino. The Department of Elections produces public service announcements in English, Spanish, Chinese, and Filipino to encourage San Franciscans to vote. They place these ads on local television, online, and at local movie theaters leading up to each election. One thing we take very seriously is reaching out to the voters who are monolingual in languages other than English or, li or limited English proficient and try to find the means by which they receive information most often, not just about elections but generally about uh, their community. The Department of Elections also co-produces in partnership with SFGovTV the series you are watching, Election Connection, a behind-the-scenes series revealing how elections are held. In the weeks prior to an election, you can't pick up a neighborhood paper or ride a bus or train in San Francisco without noticing the Be a Voter ads, reminding riders election day is coming soon. These ads are also run in multiple languages. Radio public service announcements in Cantonese, Mandarin, Spanish, and Filipino are produced and played during popular news shows in San Francisco. What would a media outreach plan be without social media? Whether you tweet, like, or spend time on YouTube, you can keep up on the latest behind-the-scenes developments in the Department of Elections on their Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube sites. These social media sites are also used to promote the online tools available at sfelections.org. So whether it's in person or by video and radio or bus ads, whether it's that voter information pamphlet you receive by mail or internet, or even the ballot you vote on election day, the Department of Elections reaches out to the community in many ways during each election to support every San Franciscan's right to vote. <laughs>